Avengers Endgame is finally here. I've been waiting the entire month for this film, and while doing that, I've been collecting all these Funko Pops. I need help. And don't worry, guys, this is a spoiler-free review. I'm not going to be spoiling the movie whatsoever. I'm going to be doing a spoiler review uh, after Sunday. I know everybody hasn't really had a chance to see the film yet because it's basically being sold out in like a lot of theaters. This is like the highest selling movie of all time right now. And not a lot of people have the chance to see it at the moment. They have work, they are parents. I was just lucky enough to get tickets days before the movie came out and I saw it by myself. And uh, here are my thoughts. And like I said, no spoilers. There's gonna be a spoiler review after Sunday. So let's get started. However, I do need to spoil Infinity War. So if you guys haven't seen Infinity War, why are you here? <laughs> I need to talk about Infinity War to explain the plot of this film. So here it goes. So this film takes place after Infinity War where Thanos snaps his fingers and he wipes out half the population in the entire universe and the Avengers have to figure out how to bring these people back or if they can bring these people back and how they're dealing with it and how they mourn for their lost heroes. And uh, I've really been looking forward to this film, yet I've been really worried at the same time. I haven't been doing a lot of movie reviews uh, for the past month, uh, specifically in April. I've been seeing a lot of movies, and I haven't really been reviewing them because I've just been so disappointed with a lot of movies that I've been seeing in April. I am going to review them. I'm going to review them all in one video just to do like a little catch-up video. Uh, but I wanted to do Endgame, obviously, in its own video. And uh, I am happy to report that Endgame... I was not disappointed. In fact, I complete exact opposite. This is probably the best Marvel movie ever. I mean that. There, There is probably never going to be a movie like this ever again. Uh, not for a while, at least. This is a monumental achievement. I really want to talk about a whole lot of things, but as promised, I'm not going to. I'm going to wait till Sunday. But I, I'm just going to generalize this review as much as I can and just give you my thoughts on the film generally. This was just amazing. Uh, it, it was emotional. It gave me everything that I wanted and even more. Um, and I just, there's so much to talk about. But I want you guys to experience the film yourselves because this is definitely a film where y you can't be spoiled. There are so many surprises that happen in this film that I was really caught off guard. And the plot itself, you are on board. And it doesn't surprise me that this film is doing just as well as Infinity War. Because obviously we go to see these movies because they're Marvel and everything. Infinity War made a ton of money. But after the events of Infinity War, you have more of a reason to see this film because you need that closure. And not only are you getting a really good Marvel film with that Marvel humor and, you know, that emotional impact from the last film. You're getting a lot of closure in terms of what's going to happen next and stuff that's happened in past Marvel films. This is a very nostalgic film. Uh, this is basically a love letter to Marvel fans, specifically MCU fans. This movie acknowledges relationships between these characters and everything that they've been through so far before this point. And I just loved everything about this. And I can't stress this enough. This is just an emotional movie overall. And I was surprised that I was laughing too. Good old Marvel humor as well. I, I, there's a perfect balance of humor and emotions. And the movie is three hours long. So characters have enough time to digest certain things that are happening around them. There's really good break scenes where characters talk about how they're feeling and everything. And it, it never feels like filler. It feels like, oh my God, like I'm learning how everyone is processing the events of Infinity War. And I just really enjoyed that overall. And the movie displays that there's more at stake here because they're trying to figure out if they can bring back the heroes from Infinity War. But there's actually another subplot that's implemented in this film that you realize that there's more at stake than just that. And it was just really interesting how the film acknowledges that, where if they do this, then it affects that. And I, I just really appreciated that the film goes that far as for the audience to question should they actually do this because of everything that's happened since Infinity War? I thought that was a really cool plot in the film itself. I don't really want to talk about characters specifically yet, but I, I'm going to talk about certain characters that I really liked in this film. Uh, I liked Ant-Man. I, I think they really improved Ant-Man since Ant-Man and the Wasp. I loved him in the first one, but in Ant-Man and the Wasp, I, I really felt as though he was um, hindered a little bit because of Wasp presence and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but like, it's just really weird how 
uh, in Ant-Man, he's a really intelligent guy. And in Ant-Man and the Wasp, it's like he's kind of dumbed down a little bit. And in this film, he's actually helping the team out by presenting ideas and things that they could possibly do in order to revert the snap. And I just really appreciated that he wasn't just there to be Ant-Man. He was actually contributing to the plan of fixing everything. So that was really cool. Also really loved Hawkeye in this film. They really give him something to do and work towards because that's been a problem with the past Avengers films is they really needed a reason for Hawkeye to be there. And in the second one, Age of Ultron, it, it felt kind of forced. Like they, they really wanted the audience to care for Hawkeye and he wasn't even in Infinity War. And in this one, the stuff that they presented in Age of Ultron actually affects him in this film. It actually makes us care a little bit more. So if you thought that the reveal in Age of Ultron was a little bit unnecessary, it actually brings a little bit more emotional depth in this film because he has something to work towards. And I just really loved that they actually tried with Hawkeye and they succeeded. Good job, Marvel. I think I want to leave off on talking about everybody else, but those are the main two characters that I wanted to talk about specifically in a no-spoiler fashion. But basically everyone has stuff that they're going through. Everyone has uh, things that they're thinking about, things that are holding them back from doing certain things. I'm being very vague, but it's just great that the script provides so much that gives these characters to, you know, think of certain things and to mourn over certain people. And I, I just really appreciated how everyone has their own goals in this film. And I just, and overall, just, the action is great. One thing I really question about the film, and I can't really get into a lot of plot details on this, but there's a scientific theory that is presented in this film that's in a lot of our favorite movies. And I was really questioning it throughout the entire film because they do it a little bit differently in this, but um, I, I think the film really just wants you to not think about it so hard. This uh, theory that we've all come to um, acknowledge and accept throughout the years. And I think what the film is trying to say is, hey, just enjoy the movie. Like, we don't care how other films have been using this said theory. We're doing our own thing. And I, I think that's what the film is trying to do, basically. Basically trying to say to the audience, like, hey, don't think about it too much. This is just us having fun. So I appreciated the fact also that this film is just incredibly fun, even though it was such a sad ending in Infinity War. This film isn't, like, it's dark for sure, but there's a lot more emotions and a lot more tones. I am being incredibly vague. <laughs> Overall, guys, I really enjoyed Avengers Endgame. I, I know I can't really talk about a whole lot of things because I, I love the marketing of this as well. The marketing is so based on not spoiling the film, and I want you guys to be able to experience everything that happens in this film, especially if you're an MCU fan. You're, you're gonna absolutely love this. I truly think that this is the best Marvel film ever. And I stand by what I say. There, there's arguably not going to be another movie like this in the future. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be excited for any other movies in the future, to be honest. I, well, m maybe. I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, it, it's so weird. Because we've been waiting for this film, basically, for almost a decade. And it it's finally here. And not only does it deliver on our expectations, it delivers so much more and I just love the fact that this film exists that it was made and it was made better than how I expected it my expectations were met certain scenes were in there that I was really wanting but there's just so much more and I I really appreciate that and uh, I'm, I'm sorry if I was really vague in this review I'm going to be releasing a spoiler review after Sunday maybe even on Sunday I don't know but I, I want to talk about this film might even see it Second time, third time, I'll probably wear a diaper if I pee in the theater. <laughs> but yes, guys, that's my review of Avengers Endgame. Comment down below what you guys thought of this film, if you've seen it yet. No spoilers. Like this video, share it, and please subscribe to Pixel Talk if you haven't yet for more movie reviews, trailer reactions, gaming content, and so on. Thank you guys so much. I am Corbett Stuckey, and this is Pixel Talk.